Title. Understanding Embryonic Development, The Journey from Fertilization to Fetal Development. Welcome to Easy Medics Daily. Before we dive into today's topic, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all things medical, simplified just for you. Introduction. The Miracle of Life, Why Embryonic Development Matters. Embryonic development is a breathtaking process, a journey that begins with a single fertilized cell and transforms into a fully formed fetus. In just eight short weeks, the foundation of a new human life is laid down, organs start forming, the heart begins to beat, and the basic body structure emerges. But why should we care about embryonic development? For healthcare professionals, like nurses, doctors, and midwives, this knowledge helps detect developmental abnormalities early, guides prenatal care, like the importance of folic acid, and equips them to explain the journey of pregnancy to patients. For expectant parents, it empowers them with a deeper understanding of their baby's growth, encouraging them to prioritize prenatal care and recognize the significance of each milestone. For curious minds, it's a chance to marvel at the intricate, step-by-step -step transformation of a single cell into a complex organism. So let's break down this incredible journey, from fertilization to the end of the embryonic stage, in clear, simple, and in-depth detail. 1. Fertilization Conception Fertilization marks the very beginning of human development. It happens when a sperm cell successfully penetrates an egg ovum in the fallopian tube. What happens during fertilization? The sperm uses enzymes in its acrosome, a cap-like structure, to dissolve the egg's outer membrane, zona pellucida. Once one sperm fuses with the egg's membrane, it triggers a cortical reaction, a defense mechanism that prevents other sperm from entering. The genetic material from both parents combines. The sperm's 23 chromosomes join with the egg's 23 chromosomes, forming a single cell called a zygote with 46 chromosomes. Why is this important? These chromosomes carry the genetic blueprint, determining everything from eye color to height and even some inherited health conditions. The zygote represents the first form of a new human life, a single cell now containing all the information needed to grow into a baby. At this moment, the journey of human life begins, with the full genetic code locked in place. 2. Cleavage Cell Division Within 24 hours of fertilization, the zygote begins a rapid series of meiotic divisions called cleavage. What happens during cleavage? The zygote doesn't grow in size, instead, it divides into smaller cells called blastomeres. By the third or fourth day, these blastomeres form a solid ball of 16 cells called the marula. Why is cleavage important? Although the total size of the embryo doesn't change, the increasing number of cells creates a structure capable of forming specialized tissues. This process prepares the embryo for the next stage, forming a fluid-filled cavity and transforming into a more complex structure. Think of it like a single seed quickly sprouting roots and tiny branches, the start of a larger, more intricate organism. 3. Blastocyst Formation Day 5 to 6 By day 5 or 6, the marula develops into a blastocyst, a hollow ball of cells. Parts of the blastocyst Inner cell mass ICM, a group of cells inside the blastocyst that will become the embryo. Trophoblast. The outer layer of cells that will develop into the placenta, the lifeline between mother and baby. Blastocele. The fluid-filled cavity that nourishes the cells and aids in implantation. Why is blastocyst formation crucial? It marks the first step in organizing cells for their future roles. The trophoblast releases enzymes that help the blastocyst prepare for implantation in the uterus, a vital step to secure the pregnancy. 4. Implantation, day 6 to 10. Imagine constructing the foundation of a house. The blastocyst is laying the groundwork for the embryo and its support system. What happens during implantation? The blastocyst travels down the fallopian tube and attaches to the uterine lining endometrium. The trophoblast cells release enzymes that dissolve part of the uterine lining, allowing the blastocyst to burrow into the wall. These cells also form chorionic villi, finger-like projections that connect to the mother's blood supply, eventually developing into the placenta. Why is implantation crucial? It's the first time the embryo connects with the mother, 
essential for nutrient and oxygen exchange. Without successful implantation, the embryo cannot survive, often leading to early pregnancy loss. Think of implantation like planting a seed in fertile soil, without it, growth cannot continue. 5. Gastrulation Week 3 By week 3, the blastocyst's inner cell mass undergoes gastrulation, transforming into a three-layered structure called the gastrula. The three germ layers formed, ectoderm, develops into the nervous system, brain, spinal cord, skin, and hair. Mesoderm, forms the heart, muscles, bones, blood vessels, and kidneys. Endoderm, creates the lungs, liver, pancreas, and digestive system. Why is gastrulation important? It's like drawing the blueprint for a skyscraper, laying the design for every organ and tissue in the body. Mistakes during gastrulation can cause severe birth defects or pregnancy loss. 6. Neurulation Week 4. Following gastrulation, neurulation begins, forming the neural tube from the ectoderm. What happens during neurulation? The ectoderm folds in on itself, creating a hollow tube that will develop into the brain and spinal cord. This tube must close at both ends. If not, it can result in neural tube defects like spina bifida or anencephaly. Why is neurulation vital? It's the foundation of the central nervous system, controlling everything from movement to thought. This is why pregnant women are advised to take folic acid supplements, to help prevent neural tube defects. Picture folding a flat sheet of paper into a tube, that's how the brain and spine begin to take shape. 7. Organogenesis Weeks 4 to 8 between week 4 and 8, organogenesis occurs, the period when the germ layers start forming early versions of organs. Key Developments The heart starts beating by week 4. Limb buds emerge, the first signs of arms and legs. The face begins forming, with the eyes, nose, and mouth taking shape. Why is organogenesis crucial? It marks the transformation from a simple cluster of cells to a recognizable tiny human form. By week 8, all major organs, heart, brain, kidneys, and liver, have begun developing, though they are still maturing. At this point, the embryo starts to look less like a blob of cells and more like a miniature human. What's next? We've laid the foundation of early development, but the journey doesn't stop here. The next stage, fetal development, will explore how these early structures grow and function, shaping the baby's body and preparing for life outside the womb. Don't miss the next video. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to follow the incredible journey from embryo to fetus. Let's keep learning, growing, and exploring life's miracles, one stage at a time.